Republican fag scrambles for late votes in Montana primary Helena, Mont. The latest on Montana's primary election, all times local 6.20 p.m. Retired Judge Russ Fagg is pushing for votes up until the last moment in Montana's Republican primary for U.S. Senate after outside groups spent more than $1.1 million attacking his candidacy. With just two hours left in the race on Tuesday, Fagg stood at a busy intersection waving to drivers passing near the central polling station in Billings, Montana's largest city. Fag says even a handful of votes could make a difference in what he sees as a close contest between himself and state auditor Matt Rosendale. Rosendale and several political groups that are backing him outspent Fag by roughly 4 to 1. State Senator Al Olsoski of Kalispell and Big Sky businessman Troy Downing also are on the primary ballot. Underscore underscore 525 p.m. More Montana voters have cast absentee ballots in this primary election than in any other primary over the past decade, and perhaps in state history. The Secretary of State's office said 209,072 people had voted absentee as of Tuesday afternoon. That surpasses the 205,224 who cast absentee ballots in the 2016 presidential primaries. The Secretary of State's online records only go back a decade, but absentee voting has been increasing every election cycle since 2008, when only 96,729 people voted absentee in the primaries. The high rate of absentee returns indicates that turnout will be higher than in past non-presidential primaries, when about a third of voters in the 2010 and 2014 elections. Secretary of State Corey Stapleton has said he expects about 65% of voters who cast ballots in the primaries to vote absentee. In 2016, 70% of voters cast absentee ballots. Underscore underscore 255 p.m. The hashtag MeToo movement has prompted a record number of women to run for office across the nation, but Democratic U.S. House candidate Kathleen Williams is the only female candidate for federal office in Montana's primaries this year. One Helena voter, 65-year-old Rick Duncan, said he voted for Williams on Tuesday because Montana needs to stop sending crusty old white men to office. Another voter, 60-year-old Cheryl Donovan, says she voted for one of Williams' opponents, Grant Keir. She says it's an unfortunate reality in Montana that a man supporting women's issues is more electable than a woman. Donovan says she remembers being disappointed when former school superintendent Denise Juno lost to XU.S representative Ryan Zinke in 2016. Underscore 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 205 p.m. Voter Michael, Michael, Miller thinks Donald Trump's unorthodox leadership style is getting things done in Washington but she doesn't feel the same way about his fellow Republican, Montana U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte. Miller, an independent, cast her primary ballot Tuesday for one of Gianforte's would-be challengers, Democratic Attorney John Heenan. The 68-year-old Billings woman says Heenan and the other Democrats have been more focused on the issues than the incumbent. She points to Heenan's promotion of education, health care, and government services that help families. Miller's reasoning fits in with Heenan's populist message that's designed to appeal equally to backers of Trump and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, drain the swamp, reduce the influence of corporations and reform health care. Those are stances Trump took but that Heenan says the president hasn't followed through on. Underscore underscore 140 p.m. 
Outside groups spent more than $3 million boosting state auditor Matt Rosendale and attacking his opponents in Montana's Republican U.S. Senate primary and in the case of Billings voter Mike Worl it paid off. The 43-year-old truck driver from Billings cast his ballot for Rosendale on Tuesday largely because he'd become familiar with the candidate through advertisements. Rosendale's emphasis on family values also appealed to WORL. He says the candidate being from Maryland was a non-issue. That wasn't the case for civil engineer Robbie Nyhart, who cited the deep Montana roots of his choice, retired state judge Russ Fagg. Nyhart says with his 22 years in the judiciary, Fag is the only Republican with the stature and experience to take on two-term incumbent Senator John Tester, a Democrat. Underscore underscore 12 p.m. Montana voters went to the polls Tuesday to pick challengers to Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester and Republican U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte. Secretary of State Corey Stapleton says voting was going mostly smoothly Tuesday morning, with no reported equipment problems or weather-related issues. He says there was some confusion in Missoula with polling places being moved due to construction. Based on the number of absentee ballots returned, Stapleton says the turnout could be between 36 and 38 percent higher than the 33 percent turnout in each of the past two midterm primaries. He expects most will vote one of the two major party ballots because there is only one contested race on the Green Party ballot. Early results will be released shortly after the polls close at 8 p.m. Underscore underscore 125 a.m. Montana voters went to the polls Tuesday to pick a challenger to U.S. Senator John Tester after an expensive primary election campaign marked by attack ads, big spending by outside groups and President Donald Trump inserting himself in the race. Voters also were deciding on a Democratic challenger to U.S. Representative Greg Gianforte nearly a year after the Republican was sworn in to fill the term of Ryan Zinke, who resigned to become Trump's interior secretary. Voter interest appeared to be higher this year than in other recent primaries when there was no presidential election. The rate of absentee ballot returns suggests voter turnout may be at least a few percentage points higher than in the 2014 and 2010 elections, when just one-third of all registered voters turned out.